Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tipsy Talks, Episode 3. My name is Brilliant, and this is... Ryoji. And with us is special guest star... Alright, and today we have four stories for you. The first one starting off our podcast slash fucking tipsy talk fucking bullshit is uh, a Taekwondo teacher arrested for knocking out a five-year-old. Really? Yeah, really. So, uh, how, how, how does one manage to knock out a five-year-old? Please tell me. So, Aren't they like two feet tall? <laughs> it must have been really fucking easy then. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, first rule of Fight Club. You do not talk about Fight Club. But, uh, no, so this teacher is uh, trained in Taekwondo. And, uh, I don't know what this kid did to justify his actions. But so far, he has been uh, arrested. And uh, he's being charged with uh, child abuse. So apparently what he did was he uh, grabbed him by the ankle and threw him over his shoulder onto the ground. And caused the kid to lose consciousness. So obviously he's a pretty good fucking fighter. Um, well, you know, I, in the case of five-year-olds. What move involves grabbing an ankle I could almost swinging the one over your shoulder? <laughs> you know, I could almost imagine, like, Austin Powers when he's, like, yelling out judo chop and he's just, like, fucking flipping people over. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, I don't know what the fuck he did, but he, it just says that he, like, grabbed him by the ankle and threw him over his shoulder. Interesting. <laughs> It's just amusing to hear. You probably gave him a nut shot. I want to know what this child did to warrant this. He must have been a very, 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 very bad boy. I'm pretty sure the only thing that would make an adult go crazy is being shot the pills. I don't know. Have you ever had to like watch children? They drive you fucking crazy sometimes. <laughs> well, I mean, I've never had the urge to like fucking throw one. In well, well, sometimes you know people need a judo chop to the neck to you know, let them know, <laughs> to let, them, let them know where they stand. Motherfucking <laughs> judo flip <laughs> right into the wall. I don't know the old apartments, right? Yeah. So when I was younger and I was living there. Oh, good lord! It's story time. Special effects. Six <laughs> so, or, or, or so. I, I think I moved out, out of there when I ate or anything like that. But anywhere from six to eight years old, uh, my mom's boyfriend mm -hmm. would like to wrestle. So I was, I was a little six year old, seven year old, eight year old, blah, blah, blah. And, and I, I just want to slow you down and let yeah. you realize that this show only runs about eight to ten minutes. <laughs> okay, we, we, don't, we don't need from the day that you were born. Get to the point. Oh, basically, during uh, our little like wrestling thing, I gave him a shot to the pills when I went, Fwah! I'm gonna make another drink, and the next thing I know, I was pumping straight. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked, people. <laughs> I wanna leave that into the shot. No, no, no. The, Anyways, the next thing I know, I, I punched square into the chest and into a mirror. Five feet away from me where I was previously standing. Well, obviously that man had issues. If he couldn't take a shot to the pills by a fight. Anyways, um, so yeah. I don't know what's happening with him right now. So far, it just says that he's been charged with child abuse. So, uh, good luck to that man, because I don't think there's any talking his way out of that one. No, no, no. There's probably the video. So this, okay. This guy, this guy was a karate instructor. Yeah, he's and, a martial arts expert. And he basically took it out on a five-year-old for no reason whatsoever. But Essentially, that's what it seems like. So, no judging because you know, guilty until proven innocent. I mean, innocent until proven guilty. Whatever, vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna move on to our uh, next story. Potato squash. <laughs> our, uh, so, so this man, this is a. Uh, this is provided to us by Fox News. So, you know, 
Uh, oh, you know it's legit when Fox News the reliable people reliable news. I thought that was CNN. <laughs> so this man pulled out a gun on uh, St. Paul's sex shop club, and he demanded a new penis. <laughs> Was the first one okay, so I don't know that he bought like one before, but he wanted a new penis pump. So how low on times do you have to be? I mean, to actually hold a sex shop at gunpoint. Oh, I'm sorry. So according to this, he had previously purchased a sex pump, and apparently it was. He claimed that it did not work as that. The clerk argued that any problems were due to operator error. <laughs> so apparently, this man did not know how to use a sex pump to increase his man out of it. I mean, it's a pump, right? You... I don't know how difficult it is. I would imagine it's something similar to like a bicycle pump. pump. Instructions not clear. He is stuck in toaster. <laughs> exactly. I think it's a little different from a bicycle pump, but I mean. It, it's what, a cylindrical tube that you stick over it, and, and you start. Playing. I'm pretty sure that we've all watched Austin Powers by now and have seen what a sex, what a uh, penis pump and larger thing fucking looks like. Yeah, basically, you put the banana in the and tube, and if not, you know, our editor and will squish it, it into the video. It's like a vacuum. It's like a Dyson vacuum. It just sucks until there's nothing left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more than something left. No, no. Flattens out like a pancake. Next so, story. This, sus this suspect just pulled out a handgun and just demanded this clerk give him a fucking sex. Is he, did they ever catch him or no? By the way, he fled the scene without a new sex pump. It is clearly so, stated in the story that he did not get a new sex pump. Well, I just want to point that out. His, his efforts. With was all, <laughs> yes, exactly. All of his efforts were in vain because he did not get. So he's still at in vain of the main. Large. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, moving on to the next story. Jesus Christ. Uh, so an Oklahoma man with fuck cops tattooed on his forehead was arrested and charged in a robbery. I can imagine that this man was relatively easy to find. I'm pretty sure. It's big tattoo on the forehead. So, um... Apparently this man forced his way into uh, another man's apartment and robbed him at night. And uh, the man was obviously easily identified because of his fuck cops tattoo. Which, uh, I think that like, if you wanted to like, rob anyone or any place, I don't think you would want to have like, easily identified markers such as fuck cops. Well, it works in Grand Theft Auto, right? I mean, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But then again, like Reem over here said, it's a video game, <laughs> and that shit doesn't always work. I've died multiple times on Grand Theft Auto, thinking that I could get away easily. You can't just go down to the sewer drain and hide out. Oh, okay, time to go. Interesting stuff. Yeah. So. uh... There's not much to say about this story. Just uh, this man is a fucking idiot. He has multiple like uh, I can see his uh, suppose I, I'm assuming that this is his uh, like mug shot, and he has multiple identifying tattoos. It doesn't even need to be fuck cops. Those are horn tattoos. Tattooed on it. Yes, there's just like fucking horn tattoos on. Him. This man is easily identifiable. There is no way you can find <laughs> this person. Wait, what, what, Nobody what, else has these what, what is some cops tattooed on there. I, I, Except for maybe a member right of the X-Men. Right right so like he has fuck cops tattooed right over his eyebrows. Oh, the tiniest shit. It's like really shitty writing, and I don't mean to like fucking like be rude to like the tattoo artist, but it's really shitty writing. It's like a fighter. <laughs> Anyways. Well, maybe it was in prison. You know what it could have been? He probably was a multiple <laughs> felon and he's kind of guy. <laughs> I mean, what, what they, they sharpen it. Uh, Let's not go into detail here. Next we story! To, we don't need to tell everybody how many times we've been in prison. Alright, so what, do we, what, what else do we have on the agenda? So, the last story that we have here is a man stealing a tip jar that quite literally contained less than what a meal costs at this place that had the tip jar up. Uh, at the place. 
Okay. What is the place, first of all? So, in just reading this, it turns out that the jar contained six dollars and seventy-seven cents. Okay, that's enough for a Happy Meal right there. I mean, right that's off the bat, that's a Happy Meal. That's right? a Happy Meal. But what McDonald's... you get the toy, you get the fries and the drink. Hold on now. What McDonald's have you seen with this fucking chip jar at the front fucking counter? Usually you see a tip jar at like a nice place where usually meals are like about nine dollars and up. Well, they got those large plastic things that you put the quarters in. Or some of them have those uh, fish cakes. Either way, so this man, it turns out that this man ordered a meal that costed nine dollars and eighty-two cents. And uh, he apparently decided to steal the fucking tip jar. And uh, he even forgot to take the food. Wow. He didn't even take the food that he ordered. <laughs> so, okay, so this man, okay, let me get this straight. This man went in to whatever restaurant this may be, might be a McDonald's, might be a Long John Silver's. I don't, so, I don't so know. So this story comes from uh, New Zealand. Okay, so New, New Zealand. It's probably happy. like uh, Happy Kangaroos. Yeah, thing. Happy Kangaroos. Okay, so he went into a Happy Kangaroos looking to buy a meal, but didn't have any money, right? Apparently. Okay. Saw this tip jar and said, hey, you know what? I'm going to steal this tip jar and I'm going to buy my meal with the money in this tip jar. Stole the tip jar. That was, the, that was it. That was the end of the story. I mean, there was, there was no plot. They probably came from like, here is your food, sir. Would you like to pay now? Will that be cash or charge? And nah. he was like, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> like, nah. No, he didn't go here. I'll pay with this. No, but, uh, this guy just, I don't know what the hell he was thinking. What happened? Uh, so far, it doesn't say that anything has happened to him. I'm assuming that he's in police custody because it seems like this story has a happy ending, but the restaurant owner is just saying that, you know, they reviewed the footage and they were like, his meal, like, literally could have probably, like, his meal was more expensive than what he stole. So this guy's a freaking idiot. And he didn't get I'm pretty sold. sure that he just looked at the tip jar, and I'm assuming that it's like covered tip. So basically, he may or may not have ordered the the meal that he intended to purchase when he went in, right? <laughs> I don't think he even went in there with the intent of purchasing anything. But you know what? He probably thought that, like, you know, like, oh, tip jar. Usually people tip really well. Apparently they don't tip really well at this restaurant because, you know, <laughs> fuck these employees. <laughs> and he made that with only six bucks. Well, you know, six didgeridoos, whatever the fuck it is down in New Zealand. Didgeridoos. <laughs> didgeridoos. Does it lose in the New I have no idea, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that was the last story for this whole thing. So, so let's just uh, stare at the camera and can't leave. Until everybody stares until at the camera everybody leaves. While I sign off, because, uh, you know, this is our third episode, and for the first time, we are actually tipsy on this fucking show. At least most of us are. I'm not sure about Rio over here, because he came in late. But, uh, we'd like to thank you for joining us. And, uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And, uh, if you like our content, make sure to subscribe to see more of it. And uh, videos every week! Apparently, videos every week. Supposedly. The homie do it. <laughs> you know what? I'll drink to that. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> we'll see you next time.